वॉइस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस वन सेंटेंस आई हैव रिटन या ही हैज रिटन द लेटर दिस इज दिस इज सब्जेक्ट एंड दिस वन इज ऑब्जेक्ट when you are going to change any sentence in its passive form to so first of all you have to write object in the place of subject you will write here a letter a letter is similar to what so actually what has been will be used here has been written by him a letter has been written by him suppose that if you have written either sentence i am giving you he has taught me he has taught me this one is subject and this is object If you are going to change it into its passive form, so you will write here in place of him. You will write I. And there are two words: has been and have been. For the plural number, plural number have been is used, and for singular number has been. singular number so here i have written he has taught me in place of he you will write hi i and you as you know that i is plural number so have been will be used here your sentence will be i have been taught taught by him Interrogative sentences. Now we are going to talk interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentences. First, why has why has he not told a lie? If you are going to change it into passive voice. So first of all, the places of interrogative word never change. In place of why, you will write say, and he a lie. They will be exchanged. In place of he, you will write a lie. After writing a lie, you will have to consider to choose whether has or have. You find a lie is similar number, so here has is correct. So why has a lie not been told by him? This is indirect interrogative sentence. Indirect. Direct interrogative sentence starts with. Have have we not punished him? Punished him? Him? Have we not punished him? Direct interrogative sentence here generally starts with auxiliary verb. Here is have is auxiliary verb means helping verb. Your sentence will be passive voice will be also started with auxiliary verb. According to him, you will write here has. Has he not been punished? Punished by us. So thus you understood today the passive voice of present perfect. interrogative and interrogative negative tomorrow we will proceed the same topic with past indefinite tense okay thank you have a nice day